What's going on today guys? It's Joe the Pro here back at it again with another video. Before this video starts today guys, I need you guys please drop a like on this video, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. Alright guys, so what we're dealing with today, we have this old Mantis Tiller here. Uh, it is mine. It's like a 2010 I think. It's, it's like 10 years old or something. But uh... Last summer, I noticed that there was a leak in the gas tank, and so I'm just going to I'm just going to replace it. I got the whole kit here. I've got a whole new gas tank with the hoses and stuff. So we're just going to swap it out and see what happens. All right. So the first thing we have to do is take this cover off here, and that should give it. Oh, uh oh, oh, there it is. So I got a paper towel for the parts. So let's get this thing off here. This kickstand's not the best either. Okay, so, oh boy, that air filter's pretty dirty. We should probably either replace that or clean it out. But, as you can see, take this stuff off. We have more access here to the fuel lines and stuff. So, let's just disconnect. Oh, jeez, these are, look how solid these hoses are. No wonder it didn't fire. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm gonna have to go get my needle nose for that one, but this lower one seems a little bit more giving. All right, man, was that a pain to get those tubes. I had to get those, uh, I had to get my needle nose pliers out, my mini needle nose. As you can see, they actually, this tube is so bad, it actually like crunched it. So it's obviously long overdue for this uh, replacement here. But next I'm going to take the tank screws out and this whole thing should come right off. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I have this thing leaned up against my workbench because this kickstand just was not working out. All right, that one's loose. That one didn't take much. Oh yeah, there's a third one right here. All right, so all three of these are loose now. All right, this thing is just about coming off. We're, we got, we just got the last screw out. Oh, there it goes. Here's their old tank here. So as you can see, it's pretty old. And this is our new tank. Nice and new with new fuel tubes. So let's get this mounted up. All right. So we're just snugging up these screws here. They don't have to be um, crazy tight. All right guys, so I just put these screws in, but I made the decision that I'm gonna put Loctite on them because they were loose when I took them off and I don't want these screws falling out from all the vibration. We just put a little bit of Loctite on there. We're gonna zip these back in though. All right, guys, I just noticed that that plug was sticking out in the way, so I hope that didn't ruin the shot, and I'm sorry if it did. But I'm just applying Loctite to the last screw, and let's get it in. Yeah, I got the screws on, and now all I have to do is connect these uh, fuel hoses here. So that should be pretty easy, but of course I can't do it for, with one hand, so I'll be right back. Well, that took a little longer than I would have liked it to, but we got the fuel line on, we got the suction line on. I think that's what it's called, who knows. And I also, this is just a little air, uh, air tube. I think that has to do with something with the suction or something. But uh, these all, the fuel line was the hardest to get on because they give you such a little space here. But anyways, we got it all put together. I'm gonna go inside and see if I have another air filter for that because that one is kind of dirty. Not gonna lie. And I don't think I can use my air filter cleaner for the dirt bikes to clean it. So we'll just have to see. All right guys, well, I could not find another air filter inside. So this will work for now. We'll just have to order another one up soon. Let me get this bracket here. How does this go on here? Oh, look at this, is cracked too. How the hell did that happen? My dad probably used it. Well, we got the cover on, so everything is assembled on here. We just gotta mix up and mix up some gas. I actually came across some of the original uh, mixing oil <laughs> from back from 2010. Hopefully, it's still good. I hear it swishing around in there, so that's probably good. All right, guys. So I just mixed it, shake it up a little bit, make it nice and fresh. All right. So I want to show you guys something cool. 
So, so the gas is in, still in there. I still haven't filled the tank. But somehow when I do this, at, okay, so isn't that cool? That was pretty weird. So anyways, guys, we got about half a tank of gas in there. So now it's the moment of truth to see if the thing even fires. Now, keep in mind, it's pretty cold out. So I'm not sure if it will today. But uh, yeah, let's open the garage door and see if it'll start. All right, guys, I hope this camera stays still. It's got a really sketchy setup. All right, so let's see if this thing fires. So let's pull the choke out. Let's see if there's even gas in the bubble. Two hours later. Can't even see. Hang on, guys, let me go get my flashlight. All right, guys, it seems like I got it loosened up in here because the bubble's filling up now and there's no leak, so that's good. All right, so I think I'm going to try to start it now. All right, I'm going to prime it a couple more times. Uh, I'm glad we got that running because I did not feel like taking that stupid carb off. Let's see if it'll fire up. All right, so choke is out. Check the switch. Right. Looks like we're good. Let's see if it'll fire up. Oh, it wants to. Oh yeah. <laughs> it almost just fell. All right, all right, guys. So it looks like it started up. It sounds like it's running pretty good. Probably gonna squirt a little bit of carb cleaner in the gas though, just to clear it out a little. But I think we accomplished our mission. All right guys, as you can see, we got that tiller running. No gas leak, so we did a good job. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you wanna see more like it, drop it down in the comments below and drop a like on this video. And sorry about the dogs in the background. <laughs> so, um, Please subscribe for more content, Twitter, Instagram, links in the description below. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, and please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. I'll see you guys in the next one.